Those vegan guys. I thank you. Hello there, I'm Paul. I'm Jason. And together we are Those, Those vegan, vegan guys. guys. And if you're a regular on the channel, you will know that this is the third of our three updated uh, shopping vlogs. We've already done... Um, Sainsbury's, who had some new products in, yes. and we've already extensively covered what's going on in M&S right now. And you'll find them in the shopping vlogs playlist in that little eye, right there, right now. Today's is Aldi. Uh, we did Aldi when they first had the refit, our local, uh, which is in Failsworth near Manchester. Mm-hmm. Our local had the uh, the refit, all the new shop fittings and everything, not too long ago. And we came in and did a bit of a vlog. Yeah. <clears throat> and since then, there's been loads of people online saying, oh, look what Aldi's got. It. There's this new thing and this new thing. So we thought it would be rude not to come back and do uh, an updated uh, shopping vlog for Aldi. Now, these shopping vlogs are meant to benefit anybody who wants to buy vegan goods but we particularly market them at you if you are considering starting your vegan journey and you don't know where to begin this hopefully you're going to find really helpful we're not just going to cover the new stuff we're going to do aldi yeah yeah absolutely and what you just said people have said to us that exact thing that actually our shopping vlogs have really helped them, particularly at the start of the journey. Uh, but also, um, people have pointed out, uh, as Paul said, that ve uh, vegan stuff in all of the supermarkets, but particularly Aldi, is going off like you wouldn't believe. And Aldi Al and Tesco. Yeah, and Aldi seem to kind of stagger it, don't they? There's, there's never... You can never be too sure when something new is coming out. And you can never be sure whether something new is a staple item or whether it's just going to be for a finite period, which supermarkets like Aldi tend to do a lot around the Christmas period, mm -hmm. which is a bit of a pain because you might find a product you really like and then it's gone. Um, so we're going to try and focus on those staple items that you can pick up all the time. Um, so let's go in to Aldi in Failsworth. Now, we always point this out because it's amazing. And Aldi were the first ones to do this. Uh, the Super 6 items where you can get some really cheap. So like, loose red pepper, 29p. Loose beef tomatoes, 39p. Um, watermelons for 159. <clears throat> Medium baking potatoes, 29p. It will be rude not to get them, Jason. 29p. Um, grapefruit. 39p. And spring onions. I can't see a price for them. Oh yeah, 29p. There you go. Aldi Super 6. So we always point out the um, the things you can get available kind of ready-made. If you're on the... On the uh, uh, in a rush working or whatever so there's this which seems to be new and it's clearly marked vegan and it's £2.49 and there's the classic um, falafel and hummus wrap for £1.99 um, and I will say that Aldi have always got a really 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 good selection of fresh fruits and vegetables in you don't need me to point out those out to you this should always be the mainstay of your diet, really. You know, have a pie, have a burger, have a sausage by all means, but top it up with a load of veg and salad and you'll be doing yourself a right good favour. Um, so yeah, from the sandwiches goes into the fresh salads, bagged salads, all this kind of thing. Nice little world food section. I guarantee that quite a few of these rices will be vegan. Let's have a look. See, that says vegetarian, but what's the ingredients? Now, this is a good tip. If something says vegetarian, and then the only thing that you can see on there is a warning that says may contain, 
by and large, we as vegans ignore that. Yes. Because it just means it's made in a factory whereby they can't call it vegan by law. Yeah, in this this particular one is a really good example because in the ingredients there aren't any E numbers to confuse you. So you can look at the ingredients and very quickly be like, yeah, it's a cross-contamination thing, they can't legally put vegan on it, but it is vegan. Yeah. Yeah, so there you go. And if you check that with all of your uh, all your bits, you'll, you'll probably find um, lots of them are like that. See, Mark's vegetarian. Uh, I can't see the ingredients on that one. Actually, this has got a, a quite a, a, a bit bigger ingredient list, yeah. but it's still, by ingredient, vegan. So there you go. Always check them out, but by and large you'll find that stuff like that is vegan, it's just not marked as such. Now, don't, no doubt we will miss loads of things on this video today, loads of things. And people <laughs> in the... Uh, in the um, comments will be like you missed this so do read the comments because people are just trying to be helpful and let others know that you know there's something we've kind of uh, missed but here's what you're looking for with the um, you're looking at that plant menu label so see there we've got Indian inspired and Texas inspired veggie babs this on, is like the barbecue section yeah on sticks so they're 169 and then 30 percent off so that's all right isn't it it's really good actually uh mushroom burgers beetroot yeah. burgers meat free burgers up there we've got the vegan sausages um salad cauliflower and what's that other one red pepper and butternut squash yeah and then just your plain old meat free sausages there we go. So here again, in in the fridge with lots of meat products, just randomly you'll find coronation chicken and mushroom bolognese at 199, and uh, they're in the plant menu range. So again, watch out for that label. The plant menu is is virtually is guaranteed vegan, and there's lots of it, but it's kind of dotted. Um, throughout the store although they do have a section for the stuff mainly and we'll show you that in a second oh uh, are the vegan yogurts here with normal yogurts they were right they're probably somewhere else I think this was posted in our group uh, that vegan group uh, linked in the description before uh, below um, but these have I think they've been vegan before and then they went not vegan because they had milk in and now they're vegan again mm -hmm. again it says vegetarian but by ingredient the dark chocolate digestives at Aldi are vegan and the 45p merely 45p uh, uh, but again check all your ingredients because you never know in here which of the um, which of the biscuits? So, yeah. Vegan by ingredient. What is the milk chocolate ones? Obviously, won't be. No, I know. Yeah. So check your labels. You'll find that uh, you know quite a few are indeed vegan. They're just not marked as such. All right, Jason. Yeah. Onward. Aldi's yet another one of those supermarkets that clearly marks when uh, wines are vegan. So, for example, the Estevez. Pinot Grigio, lovely white wine, is clearly marked vegan. Next door to it, Estevez Pinot Noir, 3 dollars is again clearly marked vegan. That's what you're looking for. Uh, and you'll find it with a lot, a lot of Aldi's home wines. This, by the way, is gorgeous and it's always been marked vegan. We'll be getting one of them, Jason. Nice. Um, but yeah, check your labels. You'll be uh, very, very, very pleasantly surprised. Now, before we get to the freezer section, we've got the chilled section here, the deli section. Um, we've got these three, Mediterranean style falafel, Moroccan style falafel, and sweet potato pakora, 125, all marked vegan. 
um, the Aldi No Chicken Garlic and Herb Kievs, which people are raving about, $1.99. These are new, No Chicken Ticker pieces and No Beef Teriyaki pieces, they're one seventy nine, and Meat Free Mints at one thirty nine. Uh, and then if you come down a little, you've got plant menu potato salad, 79p. There is usually a coleslaw somewhere as well, but we can't see it today. It might be very clear in yours, um, unfortunately not here. But, you know, what a plethora, a plethora. If like us, you like a nice cold beer sometimes, when we've been down to allotment, uh, I'll put our allotment playlist up there. When we've been down there on a hot day, weeding and everything, I like to come home and have a cold beer. And these are 10 bottles for 3 39 And um, Jason's going to show you. They are clearly marked vegan. And they're actually lovely. It's, just, it's your typical French lager beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very nice. Get them in the fridge, Karen. And then we get to the vegan section, the uh, freezer section, which is marked vegan and vegetarian. So again, be careful. These are your vegan items in the plant menu uh, folder. Anything else, you're going to have to check. Uh, because, for example, that is vegetarian. Um, so, what have they got new? Well, they've got these hot dog sausages, which a lot of people have been uh, raving about. Um, they're only £1.69, so I'll probably get some of them for freezer, Jess. We're trying some bits, obviously. Um, <clears throat> they've got spicy bean burgers for £1.15. Same again. Vegetable fingers for £1.39 for 16 which is fantastic. They're relatively new. And they're lovely. This is new as well and I've had a few of them and I don't remember having this one. I don't remember you having that spicy jackfruit one. I've definitely, I'm 99% I'm sure I've had the jackfruit chili. Vegan ready meals £1.75. But I don't think I've had that one. Well you're going to do a taste test on that, one of our meals vlogs. People who, who can remember my lunchtime taste test tell me if I've had this one already. I'm pretty sure I haven't. We'll get it. Okay. Let's get it. Um, got pizzas here. Which ones have we got? We've got the spicy cauliflower pizza. How much are these? One pound sixty-nine. And the vegetable, vegetable arabiata. Nice. So I think they're the main two. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes they have like a no bacon one in. Don't they? Yeah. Uh, but I can't see that in here at the Oh, it's there. Oh, nice. Sorry about this. So you've got that one. Uh, barbecue bacon style pieces and mushroom. You've got the stone baked spicy cauliflower and the vegan arabiata. Uh, chicken nuggets and is this where the fish fingers are as well? Yeah. So you've got eight, eight fishless fingers, 16 chicken nuggets and they're £1.49. And then, oh, in this section here we've got no meat meatballs. And uh, bags of sausages, and they're one pound nine. Very good. Here's your uh, meat alternative burgers. So you've got the uh, the no chicken burger and the no beef burger are one forty nine. These no chicken burgers with a bit of shredded iceberg lettuce and mayo on a bun are absolutely gorgeous. For the record. Uh, you've got the no sausage rolls, the no beef pasties, sometimes they have um, like a chicken style pasty as well in there. Manager required at till 4 please. Oh, Margaret there's a conniption at till 4. 
What are them, Jay? Uh, la six large vegetable spring rolls, clearly marked vegan. £1.39. That's alright, isn't it? I wonder if they've still got those no beef pies in that we had from the Aldi in uh, Ashton. No. Onward. Now the ice lollies that you can get at uh, Aldi uh, clearly say dairy free on the box. So you've got a forest fruits one, a salted caramel and a peanut butter and they're £1.99. Um, how many lollies do you get in each box, Jay? Three. Three, Three. yeah. And then they've got the equivalent in ice cream tubs up there as well, which say dairy free. Uh, salted caramel, um, chocolate brownie, and no doubt there's some more. Well, there are the flavours. You just got to see if they've got them in, you know. And they're $1.99 a tub. There is actually a, a sunflower spread clearly marked vegan and only 69p in the uh, fridge section. Do you fancy a snack, Sharon? A snack and a movie. Well, look, uh, you've got these lovely hummus bites. There's um, other flavours as well. Oh, there's lentil bites. Are they also vegan? Yeah, suitable for vegetarians and vegans. Uh, they're 89 pence. And then next door, you've got the um, pop-outs, salt and vinegar flavour. And again, they're marked vegan. And they're 85p. I think Brommer's just spotted some Well, this is the uh, this is the bizarre thing about supermarkets in general. So these are technically both vegan. This one, the onion rings are marked vegan. These are marked vegetarian, but by ingredient, as far as I can tell, they are vegan. Yeah, it's right, it's random. So this yeah. is the trials and tribulations you have to go through being a vegan. Lots of snack options though. Lots yeah. of snack options. Homeward. If you fancy a cold jelly treat uh, you can see there yellow writing suitable for vegans got these lovely uh, Hartley's 10 calorie um, bl black blueberry and black currant jelly pots they're 2 99 for six you know should you fancy if you're looking for a vegan yogurt alternative 85p you can get these um, soya pots actually plain uh, Clearly, obviously, clearly marked vegan. 85p. The blueberry one is utterly delightful. Uh, on your, we have fresh berries every morning. A spoonful of this over your fresh berries is beautiful. So they've changed the label, uh, which is why I couldn't find it. So that's what you're looking for, actually. And of course, uh, now I've spotted the yoghurt in its change packaging. Or is it just me? I don't know. Anyway, they do all their own vegan milks as well. Uh, almond, almond unsweetened, oat, coconut, soya, soya unsweetened. Um, and the, the soya unsweetened, 55p. Soya original, 55p. And all the others are 79p. And they're kind of in the long life section near the cereals in our Aldi. Um, Jason, you were pointing out somewhat yeah, over here. Just, you know, quite a lot of the peanut butters, um, it's it's in small print, but a lot of them do say suitable for vegetarians and vegans. Right. And quite a lot of the range, including the almond butter, is uh, no palm oil. So it's like 100% almond, 100% peanuts. Nothing else I did, completely natural. Yeah. Um, and only £1.69. It's pretty good, really. I wonder if they, oh yeah, <laughs> they do their own yeast extract, clearly marked vegan, um, for slightly less than the Marmite next to it. <laughs> than the Marmite next Which door to it. Which also is clearly marked vegan. Yeah, I know. Oh, and the, is that biscuit spread vegan? Yeah, uh, this usually is, isn't it, the Biscoff? Well, the Biscoff is, is that Biscoff? No. Suitable for vegans. So there's a biscuit style spread as well, and how much is that? £1.79. Big jar that as well. We know, Gerard, you've told us 17 times while we've been here. We're wearing a mask. Luke. Good old Gerard. Right. 
There is one other thing to point out. What? Um, the vegan brioche buns which are down here. Take us. I'll walk with you. Oh yeah. Well, be rude not to get some while we're here. Vegan. Somebody said these had been stopped being uh, done, but they're not. They're £1.5 for four. Clearly say vegan, four sliced vegan brioche burger buns, and they're gorgeous. In the basket, Jason. Um, and there you, there, there you go, I think. Let's, should we check these? Says low fat, but ah, vegetarian. He's the ingredient checker. They're usually vegan. No, oh, Italian style ciabatta rolls. Vegetarian. Yeah, I think they're they're vegan by ingredient. That might be a make and same thing. They're the same. Yeah. I imagine all the bagels are the same to be fair. Right, are we done mister? Let's uh, have a look, so we've got the no chicken tikka, the no beef teriyaki, garlic kievs, meat free hot dogs, a lunch for Jason, some baking taters, a couple of bottles of wine, a yoghurt and some brioche buns. Marvellous. See you back in car. And there you go, unfortunately we couldn't find, a lot of people have spoken about this new um, chicken style roast. Uh, from Aldi. Now we're not sure whether it's chilled or it's frozen but we checked everywhere and it's not in our local Failsworth store. You even asked didn't you? Yeah, um, unfortunately but you know as you saw there are sausages and burgers and mints and meat style strips and pies and you know burgers. There is indeed a whole plethora <laughs> of stuff uh, available to you. That little lot that you saw in our trolley then was just under £20. It's pretty incredible really and um, one of the things that we have mentioned in many of our shopping uh, vlogs is, alluding back to what Paul was saying before, it is still a bit of a postcode lottery yeah. when it comes to stuff. Geographically, certain stores stock certain things for certain reasons, and it's usually based on the demographic of the population that live in that area. Yeah. We can't grumble, because as far as we know, there aren't a hell of a lot of vegans around our area, and yet Aldi's vegan range is really, really good. It's brilliant. Um, and, you know, uh, so if you fancy having a try of a few things, uh, do and do know that everything you switch from non-vegan to vegan helps the animals, the planet, you and all future generations. Yeah. What a whammy. Hey, if you're going to nutshell the message, that's how you nutshell the message. Mm -hmm. It's clear, easy to understand, everybody benefits. Yeah. 100% agree. And I don't mention it on every video, but we get asked about like recipes and stuff. We have a free ebook, um, so we'll save the tag until now. Yeah. Jason, you can bring it up. You can download it from our website, thoseveganguys.com. It's called Down to Earth Vegan. It's a guide to switch into a vegan slash plant based uh, lifestyle. And uh, you'll find it really helpful. Whether you're at the beginning of your journey or you're seven years in like we are, we wrote it um, to be the guide that would have helped us at the beginning of our journey. Well, you wrote it. And, thanks, love. And would still help us now. It's there, it's available, uh, and we'd love you to download a copy and check it out. If some of you are here and it's you're warm. like, it is warm, isn't it? Um, we'll wrap this up very soon. Um, if some of you are here and you particularly like our shopping vlogs and deep down you're here for them and them only, really, um, then and you're thinking, well, I'm not going to subscribe to them because I'm only really here for the shopping vlogs, consider giving the channel a subscribe anyway. Yeah, because we do them regularly and you don't have to click the notification bell to get notified about all videos. But you'll certainly see when we do a shopping one because they are one of the most popular things we do here on the channel. Yeah. Uh, other than the things I've already linked. 
like yeah. the allotment series. And your recipes and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, I haven't linked that, but I will. I've got the Easy Vegan Recipes playlist with about 80 videos in it. Yes. Uh, so give that a check out as well. Um, and if you're new on the vegan journey, we don't all bite your head off and smash you in the face with palm oil and plastic. Some of us are really supportive of you even starting the journey, mm -hmm. and that would be us. Down to earth veganism on, on the reg. reg. <laughs> I love you, Mr. Bromley. Love you. Mm -hmm. Love you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. We will see you again soon. And until then, please be excellent to yourselves and each other. Yay! You ready? Bye, loves! It's a step up the channel.